It's more than just a show. It's community. It's the Stillwater Morning Scramble with Steve Daniels on the Triple Play Sports Radio Network. Was it unveiled yesterday? There is a promo for Visit Stillwater. Well, I don't know <laughs> oh. when it made its big splash. My uh, days are running together this yeah. week. I, it feels like Friday day. to yeah, me, and I just can't really get it out of my head. So We've all been on the wrong day. Every anyway, day. Yeah. a lot of times local <laughs> stuff is local. I mean, you, when we try not to do it, but it is. You, yeah. know, you can tell a national spot from a local spot. <laughs> But this 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 I promo. I think that was a jab. No, no, it's going to be a compliment. Okay, okay. It's really good. <laughs> Thank you. Because it, it, it. I'm going to take that and run. Well, I didn't I mean to sound. So, I didn't mean to sound so surprised. <laughs> no, but it's well done, and it, it conveys the because they speed it up and they slow it down, and it conveys that you're having a good time. Yes. There's a lot to do here, and it's fun. Well, and it's funny that you say that this one was a good one because, yes. you know, we do this every month. We have a video come out every month, for, and we um, highlight four or five events and attractions going on in and around Stillwater. And this video actually, you know, sometimes they run really smooth and... Everyone. So the shoot didn't go well. Oh, no. no, it oh, was really? A, it was a disaster. <laughs> See, you couldn't Let's tell. just be honest. Well, you hear that in movies sometimes yeah. when they say it was a disaster and it comes out and it's a classic or something. Some days you just get there and then one thing crumbles and then it just it's is just downhill from there. Landslide. So tell me the shooting process of a, of a promo like that. Well, Nicole and I get together about a week or two before. we Well, we choose a date about a month before. And then we get together and kind of talk about what's going on, what's coming up, what events we want to highlight, what attractions. Um, what kind of fits the month and the season, too. Yes. So something like during the summer, you know, it's more um, snow so, cone stands and things cream, like that, ice cream and that sort of thing. Pads, yeah, those kind of things. So um, we get together and we start making phone calls to see who wants to be part of our video and scheduling. So we usually um, do them for it takes about four or five hours to put these together so we um, for the scheduling part yes yeah not the video the video is only about a minute so yeah um, well yeah yeah i didn't <laughs> <laughs> so oh yeah the schedule is important we don't take four or five hours to put it together no. but and then we once we have the schedule down and kind of know what we're doing we'll start writing lines um based on what the events Vince, are and yes and we try to make it fun and upbeat yes. and yeah. you know just maybe a little bit quirky so someone will watch it and kind of it sticks in your head we is definitely what we try don't to do. take ourselves too seriously that's not what we're, we're not trying to be a professional yes. videographer kind of group we're more just like let's see what happens yeah <laughs> well no so. this one I, I just thought it was really good and they hula dance in it even so <laughs> well that's the funny part that's where yes. the that's the where we start to go downhill is. quickly we had you know we heard about the blue hawaii showing at the community right. center and we wanted to include that in our video and we thought blue hawaii elvis let's get an elvis impersonator so we had one lined up we yes. were really excited about it he was going to sing on camera it was going to be great we were going to be at the community center and then about mm, an hour before our photo our shoot started it was the first one we yes. were going to do Elvis cancels. Cancels. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, that happens. So, Nicole and I Welcome had to, to my every day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, not Elvis, but... So, I, then we just go into slight panic mode and we say, okay, what, what can we, we do? do? Yes. Let's see how this works out and what... Uh, all we need is some lace, some Hawaiian <laughs> shirts, and we got this. So, that's how we ended up with that scene, which is... No, that's Not better than it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it kind of reminds me of when we had the senior PBR and the bucking bulls. Oh, yeah. And we were supposed to have someone come, a rodeo clown come, and he was going to dress and he was going to do. And about the day the of, of, the morning of, he said, I am not going to be able to make it today. So Jessica and I said, okay, <laughs> what can we do? Well, we have cattle. So I said, well, I've got boots. Yeah. My husband has some chaps and some spurs and a cowboy hat. I said, we can make a cowboy out of that. And then we found a, you know, those little bouncy balls kids sit on and bounce right. around. The bucking well, bulls? Well, we at, got one of those. Atwood's had one that has a bull head on it. So we pretended like that was a bull. And Nicole yeah. bounced around on it <laughs> while I talked about the bull bash. So. No, I think I think often the, um, this is a three-hour live show, so I right. have people that don't show up right. and, yeah. and stuff. And so a lot of times the best things happen out, out of necessity. Yes. They yes. really do. Yes. You know, I've learned not to worry about it anymore. So, yeah. I mean, it's just part of it. And it's like, okay. You take a different turn. <laughs> yes, we do that. You often. could have put you could have put sideburns on though and been Elvis. 
We thought yeah. about that. Well, we had a hard but time finding. But who has finding, the sideburns, yes. right? Yeah. Right. That's where we, we were struggling. Find, we, That's true. We definitely would have dressed up had we could yes. find no, a this, costume. So. This one looks good, too. I'm, no, I really, I, I laughed out loud. <laughs> <laughs> that you know, let's just face it. That's, that's what that's they're what intended we're going for. for. Yes, so, and you remembered it. That's yeah, even it's a better. good sign. I even sent. I, I even sent Jessica a note. Yes. What was great about it too is we were just going to go to the community center and be on stage and kind of say our line. Yeah. And we had thought too late about a green screen because our videographer Jack he has a movable one he could yeah. have brought had we thought enough before he left town. Um, so we went to the community center and he was working with. Um, the person who works there with the lighting and we're like "Ooh, can you do all green lighting behind us and they were able oh, to okay. so we made a faux green screen at yes. the community center theater and that's how we got that funny little yes Very Hawaiian nice. scene anyway how can they see this <laughs> it's all over our social media so if you follow or go to visit stillwater on facebook instagram or twitter it's all there and we also um put it out through our we we work with a company called madden media who does a lot of our digital campaigns, and they actually send out our video all over. So we <laughs> it's kind of funny because Nicole and I hear all the time from our in-laws or our family oh, in yes. other states that they are seeing us. I went to Christmas maybe a year ago, year and a half ago, and my husband's aunt and uncle who live down in Velma Elma. Right. They saw... Which shrinks the world. Yeah, <laughs> it does. They... Uh, <laughs> I'm like, Jessica, we saw you on Yahoo. I'm like, what? But they had seen an ad on the side of Yahoo, and it was our video. So. Yeah. And last month, my friends from Iowa, where yeah. I had lived before I moved here, said, do you do this a lot? I'm like, how do you find these things of me? And she said, I just saw it. It's awesome. Yeah. We're coming to visit. But so if, they, that's if great. they follow you, it goes everywhere. Well, so. and they didn't follow Visit Stillwater, no. so, and she so. saw it on Instagram. I usually do two kinds of ads i do a boosted post on facebook with it and target people who follow us and their friends and then i will also do an ad separate from you know our feed that goes to people outside of stillwater and even outside of oklahoma who may not even follow st visit stillwater or it has more to do with what's going on to get them to those specific events so i target people who might be interested in the events going on well, that's so, great yeah. it's a good it's a good yes. spot it's a fun spot and and i think uh, everybody has their own taste but uh, when it's self-deprecating <laughs> no i mean, yeah. seriously i think uh, i personally like people that don't take themselves su too seriously yeah, yeah. I think it, if you go around and, and or braggadocious or whatever it's a turnoff right. and right. so in this one you know really confident people to me are willing to make fun <laughs> of themselves right yeah, and so that's good yes. <laughs> It's more than just a show. It's community. It's the Stillwater Morning Scramble with Steve Daniels on the Triple Play Sports Radio Network.